what three draw what three jobs granddaddy got? Sell cars, paint cars, take care of me. Good. I love you, granddaddy. We love you too, granddaughter. Where is the wisdom? Trust God. Hustle hard. Longevity is hard to achieve on your own. That's my intro. Okay, YouTube is 612. We out here getting this cock took apart. Got the hood off already. That joke are heavy. Got the trunk. So, this is where we at. Got the truck out. One down, two to go. So, we're moving along, moving along. We'll holler back. Okay, you two. It's Wednesday, it's 224. 100 degrees inside this building. And we're working on this hood. Got half of it done. So you see how that is. See how that is. We're going to get this trunk done eventually. But I've also been uh, trying to get these spots sanded down. That we we weld it. Spot on this side. And spot on this side. Remember there was a big hole with some holes like that, so now we gotta fill it in. Alright. Come around here. And work on this front fender as well. Start it up in the front. And tick it all the way down to that door. That is sounded pretty good. Everything coming along, it's a slow process because it's so hot. And I'm having to stay out here for a little while to, and then try to go in the house and cool off for a minute, man. It's just, um, just some unbelievable weather that we have down here in Alabama. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've been trying to work some at nighttime, mostly, as y'all remember on other videos. But... Um, my grandbaby coming, I got a babysit to, tonight and tomorrow. So I won't be able to get out here until tomorrow evening. So this is probably why I'm going to stop it today. I'm going to go ahead and cool off before she get here. And we'll pick back up on it tomorrow evening. Because I want to finish this hood so I can flip it over and do the other side because I plan on painting it all. So, um, so yeah, that's where we at right now. And I'll probably hit y'all back tomorrow evening. Holla back.
Okay, YouTube, it's Thursday, 7.33. 86 degrees. I've been out here for a while. Um, since my granddaddy left. And I'm gonna show y'all how far we done got and what I done found out. And what I found out, now you can look at a car on the outside with this fresh paint on it or not freshly painted or whatever and everything be looking so good. You think that, man, it's a good straight, good body. Okay. That's what it be looking like. But we got some serious stuff going on right here, which I done not got it almost straight on the side. But we still got some grooves up here that I'm going to have to probably do by hand because the sandal won't reach up in there. And back here we got serious problems. You see all this? All this is bundo. Start sanding and it's just start digging in bundo. All this. Bundo, bundo, bundo. So, if something happened back here, uh, it's just full of bundo. So, I'm not going to get too deep into it. I'm going to just um, fill it back in because hey, I'm not going to take on more than, uh, than I can chew. So, I'm already doing a lot of extra up here, but this right here, I'm not going to go too deep into this. I'm going to stop right here. As you can see, I'm not ready to dug into it. I'm going to put some filler back in it, fill it back up, get it smooth, and leave it alone. Because, I mean, hey, I didn't know nothing. We didn't sign up for that. We didn't know nothing about that. I knew we had some little rust spots, which, you know, we fixed. But, man, once you start dealing with a whole quarter pound of bondo, man, that's, that can turn into a, a whole new situation. So, this is where we at now. And, man, we're going to try to figure out, figure out this bondo stuff, put some more, put some more filler in and make it smooth and get back to work. Because this, I went ahead and tackled this side first. Because I knew this was going to be the toughest side. I knew I had some problems, but I didn't know to this extent. I didn't know it was going to be full of bondo, but I knew we had some problems up here because it was already messed up in the camera. But this side, it seems to be pretty fine. I mean, so all I'm going to do is probably 180, 220, 320, something like that on this, on this whole side. So I started over here for a reason. I like to go ahead and get disappointed at the beginning. <laughs> so, hey, I done got my disappointment. I know what I got to do to get it right. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to put a little more. I'm going to put some, mix up some filler. Fill up these little spots. Let it get hard and we'll probably get back with it tomorrow. I probably won't mess with it no more tonight. So. All right, YouTube. We'll holler back. Okay, YouTube. It's Friday. 512. Right now it's 98 degrees in here. And still been working on this side some more. Got all these little spots fixed. Had to, it's a little dent right there, fix that. And been working on this hood. And the trunk is already completely sanded with the 320. But this hood. Man, this stuff is so tough, man. I had to break out. I had to get out the little electric sand and use so that I don't I hardly ever even use this thing. But man, this stuff so it's so strong. I don't know what kind of paint this is uh, on this old car, but man, it ain't just it ain't just breaking coming off. So they must have used some some serious stuff back in them days when they were painting this thing. I don't know. But anyway, we about to get it though. But man, it's so hot. I mean, it is seriously hot. I tried to wait till the evening time to come out here, but shoot, I'm sweating so bad right now. I'm gonna have to go ahead and change shirts at least. But I might just wait till it cool down a little bit more. <sighs> because we still got a long ways to go on this quarter panel right here man this quarter panel i knew it was gonna be tough so hey 
I'm gonna go ahead and try to get it knocked out first. And then when I get to the other side, it should be smooth sailing. And it's, and that's why I'm working on this hood so much too, because I want I want to knock out the rough parts first. And this hood is rough. Trunk went that bad. But I'm trying to do this now because I gotta flip the hood in the trunk. Because I'm gonna paint that too. When I put this uh I'm painting all that stuff on the inside and everything before I put it back on. So, but yeah, this is where we at today. I think I'm finna go ahead and swap shirts. I might just stay in the house for a little while because I'm about to burn up. We'll holler back. Okay, YouTube, it's 635. Still Friday, 82 degrees. Got a little bit cool in here. It's been really storming and raining. In fact, it's still raining. Still storming. It's pretty rough out here for a minute. But hey, at least it cooled it down some. So I've been able to get a little work done. So we're gonna, um, we got this hood pretty much aided pretty good. I'm gonna come back in 320 in a minute. Well, I guess in a minute. But I went ahead and started, I done the 80 on this side. Went ahead and got the 80 grit on this side as much as I possibly could. Some of this stuff I'm gonna have to, somewhat I'm gonna have to do by hand anyway. A lot of curves and stuff on this car, so. But, I just want to knock down what I could with the 80. And then of course, you know, like I said, our 320, this whole, the whole car and everything. But, we did get a lot of it done. But, I will get back. I done let this top sit here for some days and days and days. We had to got no more rust build up on it. So, that's a good sign. But I will be sanding it down again a whole lot more probably. I might get to start on it either tomorrow or maybe Sunday evening sometime. I'm going to get this top smoother than what it is. And then we should be ready to start trying to get some prime on this thing to kind of like see where we at. And on this hood and stuff like that, I just need to just try to get some prime on it so I can see where we at. But if you notice... So you don't never know until you start sanding. I was just trying to knock it down like I've done this side right here. But when I got up here, man, it just kept getting bad spots and bad spots. So you really can't stop. And see, this kid need to go down some more. So you kind of like, you just got to keep going until you get all the spots out completely. Because if not, you know it's going to show up. So I just had to keep, hey, once you start, you have to keep going. And of course, there's still a little bit of spots right here that I want to try to get out down here. So, like I said, once you start hitting them, there's just certain areas on the top, man. It's, yeah, so you don't know until you start sanding to what you're going to get. But I mean, hey, it's all good, though. I mean, that's part of it. Hey, that's part of it. Part of it. Man, I like this old car. Can't wait to get it done. Can't wait to get it done. As y'all might, y'all probably can tell in my voice by now. Man, I don't do stuff just for the uh, money or nothing like it. Ain't even about all that for real. Man, I do it for the before and the after. That's what I do it for. That's what I want AI. That's what I, 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 will, I love to see that. I like to see the before and the after and say I done it. If money come in between it, that's all good. But, man, I love to see that before and I love to see that after in the note that I done. A lot of people probably don't understand that. But, when you come from the type of life that I done live, hey, when you see you doing something productive instead of spending your life doing stuff unproductive, hey, it shows. And hey, and I love this right here. I wish I had started earlier. I wish I had came out the streets and done this a whole lot earlier in my life. Ain't no telling why I would be right now. 
Oh God, we don't do like. So, with all that being said, I can't wait to get this thing finished, man. I really can't. Man, I can't wait to see. But that's why I go hard. And I'm finna continue to go hard, even with the storming out here. But uh, hey, we're gonna holler back. Let's keep it moving. Okay, YouTube. It's 6 50 a.m. 75 degrees in the shop. And I'm trying to get a early star why it's kind of cool. Cause man, the heat has been serious. So I'm gonna try to come out here and get some work on this top this morning and just touch up a few things that I need to touch up and I wanna to try to get over this whole car with 320. Um, if I can do all it today, it would be great. But if not, it's fine. I mean, I ain't in no hurry. But that's why I wanna be at today. So we're gonna get an early start and uh, we'll holler back at you. Okay, it's almost been, it's almost been an hour. And I just want y'all to see how this top is coming and how long it really takes to do this. I done done from this section here to back there to back there. And I just want y'all to see the difference. Now this is the hood, this is the top. After I done already sanded it before and got it rust free. Now I'm just trying to take it down to it's just smooth. You hear that? You hear that? There's two different two different sounds that you can hear it. See? So that's what we're trying to do to this whole top. And man, I'm telling you, I've been out here for about at least 40 some minutes just on this. Man, just doing this one little section right here. And still got a pretty good bit to go. But uh Hey, that's part of the game. So, hey, if you ever run into a situation like this, see, this used to be a, uh, it had a top on it. So, that's how come I'm spending so much time on this top because he want the top painted now. So, it's got to be, man, it's got to be super, super smooth when I put this paint on it. So, if not, all these little, these little grooves or whatever you call them. You'll see all that stuff through the paint. So I'm trying my best not to do that, which he don't, like I said, he ain't even, he's not asking for all this for real. He just wanted to, me to just paint over the top. He just wants something to look halfway decent. But I'm just not a, if it's just something I'm going to kick around in, you know, for myself, I can come in here and do something in two or three days and, and be fine with it because I mean I'm just gonna drive it. But a classic like this, to me, I just can't I just can't halfway do it. Even though, you know, that's what the hey, that's what he asked me to do. But man, I can't just paint over this. I mean, I gotta get this right so I can be happy. I don't wanna disrespect the cop. Me personally. I'm I'm not a lot of people don't understand that, but man, I Something about me and, and these cars, especially these antique cars, man. I just, man. But anyway, that's another story for another day. But this is what we're trying to do. Let y'all see it real good. Before, after. Before, after. All right, let me get back to work. Okay, YouTube. Saturday, still. Uh, might as well say one o'clock. 96 degrees out here. And I'm about to burn up again. But I've been on this top all the all man for a while. Got this top pretty straight wide, pretty close to where it need to be. Matter of fact, I think it's I think it's good enough to where if anything ain't left over, I think the primer. If I put the primer on thick enough a couple of times, it should cover anything i just put a little bit more filler down here on this little spot and i put a little more filler right here because i felt a little indenture and then i just stumbled up on a whole nother ding that i didn't even i hadn't seen at all so i got it filled in up here 
And let me see. Had a couple more little spots that I found that I hadn't seen that was that's gonna require a little work down here and this spot up here. So that's what we got. Top is looking good and shiny now. It ain't even looking like it had rust on it hardly. So that's what we want. And of course, you see the hood and everything is already done. I'm probably finna uh, go in the house and uh, cool off, take me a break, and um, maybe when I come back, I can try to wash some some of this stuff off this car so I can see stuff better, and maybe start retaping it again, and maybe tape off these windows and all this kind of stuff, and try to get some paper up. And I need to flip this hood. Well, I might just go ahead and prime this hood first. Hood and trunk. Because I need to flip it. And uh, sand the inside of it. So, But I might get them primer first. That way I ain't got to be trying to go back and forth, back and forth with it. Because these, this stuff ain't, this ain't no light stuff right here. This is uh, this is real metal. This back in the day metal. This real stuff. So that's where we at. And it's amazing how... Um, when I took this stuff down, how the color looked totally different from the hood to the trunk, man. That's man, that's crazy. But anyway, all right, I'm finna go ahead and try to get me some water, or something, man. I gotta, man, I'm about to burn up. Hey, we'll holler back at y'all later on. And like I said, I'm gonna have to break these. I gotta break these videos down because I'm trying to. Like I said, I started out doing three cars at one time, and I got the hood. Fit, pre-fitted on here. Remember the hood wasn't even closed, right? So now you can see how everything is kind of like starting to line right back up like it should. But I'm still, I got to I'm waiting on some parts to come in. I had to order brand new. I had to order this fender new and this front bumper and a headlight. So that stuff should be in next week. And then I go ahead and try to get it all put back together to see where we at to make sure everything lined back up straight on this car. So, I'm trying to do all this at one time. So, these videos, I'm going to have to break them down. Because I don't really like making real long videos. Um, but I'm trying to I'm trying to get more in-depth. I mean, I was doing it at first. On my first videos, you can see why I've done all this stuff already. But I know I done put out so many videos. And a lot of people probably hadn't seen the first videos. So, I'm just trying to show them what I do all over again. But if you go back to the, some of the first videos, you will see me doing everything but I ain't trying to do that every video um, so enough of that being said let me let me go in the house now I'm about to burn up we'll holler back okay YouTube it's Saturday 5 11 98 degrees and we got all the little spots fixed Looking pretty smooth right there. You can see that. And smooth right there. Smooth right there. And what we done, we wet this car down. And I sanded it all the way up to 500 grit. Because it's an old, it's an old car. And I'm trying to make the body as smooth as I possibly can before I put this prime on it. Which I found out I got a problem though. Before I get to that. Up here. I still can feel some. It's still a little rough. Um, something's still not quite right. I don't know if this car was hit right here or somebody. I don't know. I don't really know. Um, but it don't feel good. So I'm going to either have to keep sanding on it. Or I'm gonna have to refill it, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to put more filler on here. Um, I just want to fix the little spots that needed it. I'm not trying to do what they done, fill it up with bondo. So um, I'm gonna probably sand, keep sanding on it, and get it as smooth as I can get it, and work it out the best I can by my hands without trying to fill it with bondo. So, but everything else is pretty smooth. 
And we done the hood the same way. Got it done. With, we're saying it with 500. Trunk two, we're saying it with 500. So, everything is pretty smooth. If it went for this little spot up here, I would just go ahead and start taping it down and getting it ready. But I gotta figure this out. I'm gonna have to probably just uh, keep sanding and keep sanding until I get all this get all this mess out of here and smooth. But it's such a it's such a messed up shape. So, but I figured out. We'll holler back. Okay, y'all. The S10 is leaving. Yep. There she go, y'all. Okay, YouTube is uh, Sunday, twelve thirty. Um, after church, I just came. I see where um, I had already started putting this paper on yesterday, so y'all can see I'm going all the way around, and I'm gonna just come back and cut it, tape it. But that ain't what this video really gonna be about. Cause I'm on this is gonna probably be the um last video to this part because my video is gonna probably be getting too long. But remember I told you I was waiting on some parts for this car and the front bumper was sitting here when I got when I uh, got in and I got it sitting outside because they had these I don't like the way they ship these bumpers and stuff now. They just roll them up and roll them up. So I'm gonna just leave it is which we ain't got a lot of sun right now. Matter of fact, it's been raining a lot, but I'm gonna just leave it setting outside and see if it'll kind of like strengthen up and straighten up. But I don't really like the way they do it now, but I mean, hey, whatever make them uh, save money, I guess that's how they doing it. But now, all we waiting on is this fender on this side and the headlight on this side. I'm gonna just clean this headlight on this side and um, try to make it work like that so we did get something in so this is gonna probably be the last video to this part though and then I'll catch y'all on the next part holler back